Good morning, everybody. It is, gosh, Monday, March the 30th, 2020. And here we are again for another amazing story together. Hi. <laughs> Let me just make sure my sound is off of that. There we go. So today I'm reading uh, a book by author Elise Gravel called I Want a Monster, and holy cow, it looks very, very adorable. So I will just make sure that this is streaming, and then I will show you, yes. oops, I will show you uh, a little bit about Elise Gravel. Now, Elise comes from Montreal, Canada. So here's us in Toronto. Oops, wrong way. And Elise is about I don't know, five or six hours by car. Us in Toronto, let's go check out Montreal. A little bit east of Ottawa. So the part that is outlined is Montreal, that's where she's from. Um, this is her webpage. All of her artwork is just great. Oh, interesting. She's got something about the coronavirus on her front page. Uh, oh, and she's got a store. Very interesting. Night lights. Oh my goodness, what's this? She makes night lights. Look at this. <clears throat> oh, where was the fish one? I wanted to see the fish. That's very cute. So, let me, where's my face? Come back. Hello. So I shall, uh, I shall read this story to you. And then at the end, we're gonna talk about some activities that you can do. Oops. I Want a Monster by Elise Gravel. There's a note from uh, Ms. Soares, our school's librarian, on here that says this book is all about responsibility, like taking care of a pet. How lovely is that? Hee <laughs> Wee! And the dedication up at the top says, For Sophie and Marie, the cutest monsters ever. All my friends have pet monsters. This is me, Winnie. Louise has an OGG, or an Og, I guess. Simon has a Gopter. Alice has a Bloctopus. And I want one too. It's not fair. I tell Papa I want a monster. Pretty please, please, pretty please. With Bambi eyes. A monster? We don't have room for a monster. Who's gonna take care of him? I will. And who's gonna walk him and feed him? I will. And who's gonna pick up the monster poo? I will. Look, Papa, I know everything about monsters. I did my research. I'm a monster expert. Papa takes me to the monsterium. This is the best day of my life. It says, wow, Halloween special. New species. I just love the Monsterium. I could spend my whole life in there. They have so many awesome things. Monster eggs, monster foods, and best of all, baby monsters. They have hundreds of species. Long-footed plurps. They're cute, but incredibly How smelly. What was that, Henry? Do you want to come and watch me read a book? We're going to feed the fish after. You can sit and look at the fish. Yes, they can eat after. You're going to sit on the chair and listen to the story? Yes. 
you going to come and sit up here? Here, come over here. You can read this book with me. What? They have pooples, cuddly and slimy, and they eat flies. They have gurks, very curious and clever. They might read your diary. And this has <laughs> red and black and orange and blue and green. Many gogs, tiny but very messy. Moogs, strong, noisy, love sports, especially hockey. Groups, funny and very excitable. They love to dance and scream. Mustachioed Zups, good dressers, elegant but smelly feet. And what was this guy? Who's that? This guy is red. He is red. Giant Fawfuls, soft, sweet. And that is blue. It is blue. They this love reading books and smelling flowers. Orange. That is black. It is orange. This one's brown, though. This one is orange. You see how dirty my child's face is? You just take a look at how dirty his face is. You know what this is? Lucky Charms marshmallows smeared all over his face. Don't have a cloth on my desk. <laughs> Guess I'll have to clean him off later. <laughs> that is it. And that is us. And that is orange. You may also notice he's got food all over his shirt, too. Oh, Henry has flipped the page. Let's see what's next. They're so cute. I want to adopt them all. Thank you, Henry. Papa has a crush on this little guy. Isn't he the absolutely most adorable? He's a baby. Wait a moment. He's a baby. Ogly Wop. According to my book, Ogly Wumps are cuddly with red hair. And they smell a bit like pirate feet. We'll name him Gus, says Papa. And then she says, yay! And he says, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see because my kid's head is in the way. Yeah. Scooch over. That's yeah, the end. It's not the end. Yeah. Whoa, baby monsters are something else, let me tell you. Now, Gus, the toilet is not a swimming pool. Wee Splash. No, Gus, please don't do that in Papa's shoes. Gus is... Gus is going to poop in Papa's shoes. Oh, no. No, Gus, you're not supposed to eat Papa's cell phone. Glum. Uh-oh. Tee-hee. That is, is not a bath. It's not a bath, Henry. What is it? That is it's not a... It's not a bath. What is to, it? To poop. It's to poop. What is it called? It's like pee. It's called like pee. It's called a toilet, right? Yeah. You don't want to have a bath in there. That's that's yucky. And then look at what is he pouring on his head? Oops. Oh no, don't put peanut butter on your head. Oh dear. Don't put peanut butter on your head. Don't put peanut butter on your head. This is a good lesson for all of us in life. Also, they seem to never sleep. Ever. Ah, boing. What's next, Henry? It's a good thing they're cute. Right? Ah. I'm glad I have my book. It tells me everything I have to do to train and raise Gus. Here's what I learned. Number one. Monsters need a lot of cuddles and hugs and kisses. What number is this, Henry? Number two, and that is number four, and that is number three. This is number three. But number two says, otherwise they might do silly stuff to get your attention. Potato, 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 potato. Stop it, Gus. What number is this, Henry? Three. Number three, monsters eat a lot and they eat yucky stuff. Ketchup, potato juice, bugs, dirty socks. What number is this? Number four. They also need a bit of discipline. That's the part I'm not too good at. Time out, buddy. Pfft. He says, what's next? And that's the end. Is not the end. This is a book for big kids. It's longer than books for you.
Monsters grow so fast. Look how big and healthy Gus is now. I can't believe he was a tiny baby just three weeks ago. He's, he's, he's bigger than you. He is bigger than me. Is he bigger than you? Nobody knows. That's a big monster. This monster's red, and what color is your shirt? Um, red and red or black. Red and kind of slimy. I don't know how you get that much food on you at breakfast time. I don't know. I don't understand. He doesn't do too many silly things anymore. Ploing! Look, at what is he playing, Henry? What's this? A cool What's this? No, no. What does he have? Guitar. It's not, oh, you're saying guitar. It's not a guitar. It's a ukulele. It's a ukulele. Yeah. There's a couple teachers at school who he, play ukuleles, including Miss Leishi. He, he reading a book. She is reading a book. And Dad said, or Papa says, hey, was that my ukulele? He's broken the strings. Oh, dear. He might still make little mistakes from time to time. That's normal. Yum! No, Gus! It's a bicycle. He's it's... eating it. Henry, do you eat bicycles? Um, no. No. I, I eat dinner. You eat dinner. Oh. But look, I trained him to do tricks. Gus can braid my hair, play the trumpet, thwap! Do the dishes. Oh, he's not so good. He breaks them. It's not good. What a big, handsome, well-behaved monster. Yes, you are. He's sleeping on the floor. He is sleeping on the floor over here. Maybe he's a bit too quiet even. I'm not sure that's normal. Gus, are you sad? No, he's not sad. He's just sleeping. He... Guess, Gus, what's the matter? Let's get up and play. They're both reading together. He's got a coffee, but he's reading this book upside down. I don't like this one bit. He must be sick or something. What do they say in this book? Your monster is using bad words. No, that's not it. Your monster keeps picking his nose. Oh, no. Oh, here it is. Your monster is too calm and maybe even a little boring. I found it. Papa, we need to talk. Gus doesn't seem happy, and I think I know why. I think he's lonely. I think we need to give him a new baby monster. What do you think? Should they get another monster, Henry? Yeah. Yeah? There's Betty, and there's Lola. Oh, look, this one's named Betty, just like your friend from swimming. Except this, it's spelled differently. This, that is not. That is, is pink. Is pink, yeah. Betty from swimming wears a lot of pink too. That is Betty, and this is Betty. Oh, they're both Betty. That's very cute. Would you like to adopt a monster? Number one, draw your monster. Grab Please a sheet. Look at all the all the monsters. There are they. So draw your monster. Grab a sheet of paper and create your beast. There's two pictures. Number two, I must name your monster. Should it have a funny name, a weird name, a scary name? Mm. Oh. Number three, describe your monster. What is he like? He's on all the, all the food. It is all the food. Is he cuddly, funny, naughty? Is she smelly, slimy, or sticky? Is he quiet or noisy? Number four, feed your monster. What is her favorite food? Garbage, donuts, no, peanuts, pennies, toilet no, paper. He's happy. He's happy. This one is happy? No, this one is hungry like this. He's hungry like that? And then last but not least, number five, train your monster. What kind of tricks do you want your monster to learn? Sports tricks, math tricks, magic tricks. So that's going to be your, I have my own monster. Yeah, are you stuck? How'd that happen? How'd that happen, Henry? Oh, are you unstuck now? So this is going to be grade ones and twos from my class.
your assignment for today. You're going to draw a monster, and then I've written uh, underneath in the video description that I would like you to write three things about your monster, three sentences. But if you wanted to do the five things that uh, Elise Gravel mentions in here, you could do that too. So draw your monster, give your monster a name, describe your monster, tell what kind of food it eats, tell what kind of tricks you want to train it to do. But that's only if you want to. Uh, you can email me with uh, your monsters or you can post monsters to my Facebook page, which is also in the description of this video. Now, I found a really awesome video of the author of this book drawing monsters. I also have a link to that uh, underneath this video as well. So this was posted by Harper Collins, who's the publisher of this book. This is a minute long video and it's called Hashtag Today I Learned How to Draw Monsters with Elise Gravel. So here you go, let's take a look. Gonna get another book? Okay, goodbye, Henry. Go bring another book and we can look at it together. Oh, are you gonna go get five little monkeys jumping on the bed? Well, that was sure cute. I'll cancel that. There we go. You can tell what we lot watch a lot of in our house, eh? Just by looking at my things to watch next. That's very funny. Now I can't find my mouse. Where's my face? Where am I? <laughs> oh, hello. So the other thing that I'd like you to do, also written in the description underneath this video, is uh, collect food scraps for Friday because somebody from Green Thumbs Growing Kids is going to show us how to grow food from food scraps on Friday. So if you've got some food scraps, you'll be able to do the activity while you're watching the video, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to give you an example of what to do with the food scraps. Um, so here on my table, I've brought out a cutting board. You can't really tell the difference between my desk and the cutting board, but there is one there. Um, I have a sharp knife. Please don't use a sharp knife without your parents' permission. Probably you should get them to cut for you. Uh, I have a little bowl. I have some water. I have an onion. So let's just say I'm cooking with onions today, which I will be. I'm going to chop up my onion, but instead of throwing out the end, I'm going to save it in some water in my fridge. So here's my onion. Here's a part where there are some roots. Can you see that? Yes. There's some roots. They're growing off of the end of the onion. That's the part that you're going to save. Hello, Henry. Did you bring? Oh, you brought a good book. Should we read that after? Yeah. Okay. We'll put this up here. This is a great book. I want to read it. Okay, I'm going to finish up and then you can read it. So let's just say you cut. Now, Sunday from Green Thumbs Growing Kids said to leave a centimeter or two uh, beside the root for the scrap. So instead of putting Mila this. And Morpho. Do you want me to watch Mila and Morpho? Yeah. Uh, can you go get um, the iPad? 
Do you know where it is? It's plugged in. I can put that on for you if you go get it. Henry has a, um, a really old Generation 2 iPad that uh, his Nana gave him. So he watches stuff on it. It's so old it doesn't really run anything, but uh, it still runs YouTube Kids, amazingly. Um, so you want to have about that much uh, onion next to the roots. And then I'm going to take this. This part is going to go down into the water. Plunk. And then I'm just going to leave this in my fridge for Friday so that I can see what Green Thumbs Growing Kids want us to do with it. I don't know that I'm morphal. You want to watch me lie morphal? Can you say please? Sorry, was that a please? Excuse me, tiny chap. Was that a please? Please. I thought so. I will turn this down. Here, chicken. So, onions, monsters. If you don't have onions, you don't eat onions. There were a bunch of different options. You want to sit on my desk? Yeah. Okay, you're going to have to hold on a second because it's covered in books. And then we'll read this book together. Uh, the options for uh, food scraps are listed below. Uh, they include carrots, celery, onions, sweet potato, ginger, garlic, basil, leeks, green onions, mint, and lemongrass. So this is only I one of them. Do that on YouTube. Oh. You want to? Oh, you want to stand on my stool? I'm a little slow. There you go. So you don't need to save every single one of those. If you only have one, that's absolutely fine. On your lap. Oh my god. You sit on my lap? Oh, where'd my face go? Okay. So, that is uh, all for me this morning. From Henry and I. Uh, be happy. Be safe. And we'll see you again tomorrow for another book. Tomorrow, since Henry suggested it, uh, we're going to read this book. People in my class have already read this book. But this is one of my very favorites. This one is called This Is Not My Hat. It's by John Classen. And uh, it's one of several books. Uh, he's written three that are about hats. They are all very, very good. So from Henry and me, have a great day. Be happy, be safe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Say goodbye, Henry. Bye, Henry. <laughs>